Hey guys, welcome to Prince of Peace Tarot. I'm Justin, and today I'll be doing a reading for those of you with Sagittarius placements in your chart. So if you have Sagittarius anywhere within your chart, this reading could resonate. And if it does, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I'll put out a reading. Okay guys, so before I jump into your spread, let's say a prayer. Infinite Creator, Ola Dumare, to my higher self, my Ori, Ashu, Obatala, to the Agum Marine Laie, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, to my benevolent ancestors, known and unknown, Florine Williams, Norman Williams, Exia Swilly, thank you for allowing me to source the most accurate reading for those with Sagittarius placements in their chart. All right, guys, let's jump into the reading. It's a five card spread, including the top and bottom of the deck. I have your Orisha Tarot out here to clarify. Okay, so your first position. You have the Ten of Pentacles, clarified by the Five of Cups. Second position, Seven of Cups, clarified by Elegba. Third position, you have the Two of Swords, clarified by the Ace of Swords. Fourth position, you have the Four of Wands, clarified by Oshumare, or the Will of Fortune. Fifth position, you have the sun clarified by the seven of wands in reverse. Top of the deck, you have the nine of wands clarified by message from air in the reverse. Bottom of the deck, you have temperance clarified by message from fire. All right, y'all, let's dive in. First position, you got the 10 of pentacles, five of cups. All right. I feel like there's some form of compensation after some form of abandonment or sorrow. OK, five of cups energy. Um, this has to do with family. It has to do with a home or property. Um, for some of you, it could be divorces or breakups, long term relationships that are being broken up. Um, but there is an energy with that five of cups. Try not to carry it too much because there's a lot of good that I see happening in your energy with the wheel of fortune and the sun. But in your first position, that's the first thing standing out, okay, is some form of abandonment or sorrow. This could be an abandonment within family, love relationship, friendship, something long term. Mm -hmm. Or like this, a friendship that, you know, we were friends for forever because Ten of Pentacles is like legacy. Like I've known you since kindergarten or something like that. There's that kind of energy. There's a sorrow or a loss there. Five of Cups could sometimes indicate like a death. Um, so they're could be a death of a male figure in the family. Um, Ten of Pentacles usually are like fathers, grandfathers, and things like that. But it could be any male relative, okay? But I am picking up a masculine energy. But we'll get into it, okay? Um, give me a second. Yeah, this regret, this regret. You got to also, too, uh, Ten of Pentacles, Five of Cups. Because you're being compensated for abandonment or sorrow, you got to let that energy go in order to, I feel like, receive the compensation or do the thing that allows you to be compensated, right? If you're being blocked, there's an energy in your third position of a block, okay? Um, blocked intuition. There is some form of manipulation, but we'll get there. But I feel first is a blocked intuition, a blocked heart chakra. Right. And it's being carried from something that hasn't been let go of. Um, and y if you if you're blocked, you're not following your intuition and you're not allowing this good luck of the sun and Jupiter to flow in for you. OK, give me a second. I think I said this about I think I y'all I'm going kind of quick. There also could be a flooded property. All right. The other thing, too, y'all that I'm picking up off this is um, healing, okay? Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy, healing, and then we have temperance. Oh, excuse me, I almost dropped that. Temperance, temperance, five of cups right here, because sometimes uh, talk about a healing after a breakup, like receiving um, a better partner, a better relationship. I'm not saying immediately because you do have the will of fortune. So you do have to, you know, wait your for your time when it comes, it comes. But there is a new people are coming in like new friendships, new love relationships, people to replace what's been lost. There's some form of replacement. Now, for some, that could be because of some form of natural disaster. But for others, others of you, there is an emotional relationship sort of energy uh, there. 
okay? Even a, I keep getting this, um, cause we got seven of cups, temperance, five of cups. <clears throat> Give me a sec, y'all. This doesn't have to resonate for all of you, but there is a drug alcohol thing, energy of a, like a pharmacy or something like that. I don't know if someone's doing drugs because they're sad, you know, they're self-medicating, or if you have, if a um, grandfather or father was overprescribed, if someone drowned or something, taking too much medicine or something like that, or if, um, what's the other energy I was feeling with this? Uh, with the drug thing. Or like, like I said, if you're self-medicating, you want to stop, that's blocking you. It's blocking your intuition. Could be blocking your dreams. Um, I don't know if you're having trouble sleeping. But this could have had something to do with one of your family members. And I'm picking up a male. If it's not a male, okay, but it's a family member who has a drug or alcohol problem. And they need to kind of let that go. And I'm feeling like it could be to something that is prescribed. But that's not for everybody, okay? All right. In your second position, you have the Seven of Cups Elegba. There's an energy of not being able to trust the people you are working with. All right. I don't know if this is on your current job or a new job, but I think someone feels like um, something's up. Like I see people one way, but I don't really know what they're really thinking and how they, how they truly feel about me. All right. It's a very strong energy. Now, back to your third position. This is either some form of manipulation or you needing to unblock your heart. All right. Unblock your heart. You're blocked up because of the five of cups energy, the regret, something that didn't happen or the lack of emotional support is is blocking somebody up and they're not picking up some sort of intuitive guidance, which is allowing this four of wands will of fortune energy, you know, to sort of flow through. This is really good. This is a victory. This is completion. OK, completion to whatever energies were holding you back in the past. All right. Something really good is coming. When you get this Wheel of Fortune, um, Four of Wands, this is a uh, relocation, moving, uh, purchasing, relocation, purchasing a new home or redecorating. This is like a renewal. This is a renewal of the home or of the body. All right. So somebody somebody could be doing something to their body or doing something to a home. Um, and there's some form of luck around that. Hold on, give me a second. This, even in your relationships, like I'm trying to tell you, like with this uh, temperance, five of cups, like there is a better relationship for you. Okay? Mm-hmm. No, give me a second. You have uh, fifth position, sun, and the seven of wands in the reverse. This feels like people coming against you for who you are. You know, you have the seven of wands and then at the top of the deck, you got the nine of wands. This is a lot of perseverance and fighting and strength. A lot. Being on guard. Fluctuating feelings of being on guard. One minute I'm on guard, one minute I'm not. And for some, this is a personality based thing um, because someone, they feel like you outshine them or um, this is a like a spiritual thing. Definitely with will of fortune, temperance. There's even a fairy here. Message from air next to your nine of wands. Someone possibly feels like they don't have some sort of spiritual protection, but you do. Okay, give me a second. Yeah, like the seven of wands is people attacking you because of who you are, but there's someone who does not want to fight anymore. All right. I could feel it like um, someone's really tired of fighting. They're tired of fighting, but it's with the seven of wands in reverse. You have to finish this fight because with the seven of wands, it's almost saying like there is no fight. Like, I don't want to recognize this reality of I'm at war. OK, and for some, it's it's a spiritual war and it's being played out through family, friends and work. Family, friends, and work is how this battle is happening. And some of you all don't want to do it anymore. And you're like, if I just don't participate, this is not happening. But you, because of who you are with this temperance energy, and then this message from fire, sun energy, um, you can't act like that whatever's going on isn't going on. 
Okay, something like that. Give me a second, y'all. Mm-hmm. It's like if I pretend, some of you like aren't doing a particular thing because you're tired of being attacked. This could be um, with all of this Jupiter Sagittarian energy, you haven't started a channel. You stopped writing a book, Ninth House Energy. Uh, your planets are Jupiter, the sun, you have the fourth, 10th and ninth, fourth Cancer, 10th uh, Capricorn, ninth Sagittarius. But that's your family, friends, things with housing, relocation, 10th house career, um, status, ninth house is there's spiritual beliefs. So where some of you are having um, a battle around a spiritual belief, trying to reconcile or have two things at once, but I don't know, I think it, there's a, a little too much heat with the wands. Okay, give me a second. Mm-hmm. Mm. You are at, I don't even want to put it in quotes. You know if you're at war or not. You know you know what's going on in your life. You know that some of these things don't feel normal, natural, um, and the, the lack of support you're feeling from certain people. It's just, like I said, you're tired of it, but there is this compensation for your sorrow and your abandonment in the Four of Wands, Oshumare. Things are going to change. Some of you all, like, this is a test of your strength. And I know you're like, I'm tired of being tested. I'm just sick of it. But um, you need to know how strong you are. We go through these periods. There are certain phases. Five of Cups would be a phase where life says, I'm going to pull back the support you feel you need to be successful. Because that's an idea in your head. You think I need to be married. You think I need that my family needs to support me or have my back or I got to have friends around me. And that's not true. And when I pull those things away from you, you get to see who you truly are. Right. And some of you are like, OK, I get it. I know who I truly am. But now I'm getting like tired and the regret, pain, sorrow is starting to block up your heart. And now, <clears throat> now you may not be listening to the Holy Spirit or allowing something to see something, to see the truth about something. Because there are certain people that are gonna come back into your life, right? Only because of your 10 of Pentacles, okay? Family, friends, different things. They wanna start up, they wanna restart. Like I told you guys before, these are the indications that something good is happening or something good has already happened. Um, but the, they wanna come back. Somebody wants to come back, they feel some sort of regret um, and they want to start again. Hold on. Hold on. Y'all don't, it's somebody you don't trust, especially on your job. There's somebody you don't trust on your job. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now this feeling, um, there's from the battle is causing some form of laziness or feeling lethargic with the fairy in the reverse, but you have to you got to find courage. You got to muster up some courage in order to do whatever it is that is your thing. Okay. Especially with this uh, temperance message from fire, let nothing and no one get in your way. This, this thing about um, keeping a promise and doing your duty is here and being compensated for it. Right. And you're, cause some of you are like mad or upset tired because I've done a lot and I feel like there has been no compensation. I can't see it. I can't hear it. I can't feel it. I don't know where it's coming from, you know, but the, what's blocking what's blocking you from intuitively feeling it is your emotion and unwillingness to let go of the regret. Another thing that'll block it is actually um, allowing those people who have abandoned you back in. All right. Some of them are going to come back in because there is a true imbalance in their life and they're going to want your help or for you to balance their life for them in some kind of way. And I suggest you don't, you know, that's up to you. If you feel like you want to um, rebuild a bridge that's been burnt, reconcile or something like that. But the energies don't. I, I just don't feel like the energy support that. But like I said, that's up to you. Because remember, let nothing and no one get in your way. All right. And trust your intuition. Your intuition is very strong right now. Mm hmm. Yeah. Give me a sec, y'all. There's another feeling here um, about. And, you know, take it as it resonates. A lot. 
I keep getting this religious energy. You know, you guys get, have been getting Wheel of Fortune, Temperance energy, pretty strong. So either you are about to be someone um, who people look to for spiritual guidance in whatever way you see fit to provide that guidance. Um, I don't know if people come up against you about the way you deliver it. That could be a thing. Or uh, there's an energy of delving into metaphysics here a little bit more with Jupiter energy. And there is either a man or your family that is giving you pushback about that, about doing something. I don't know if you are a reader or you just, you, you, you delve into whatever you feel like, you know, of a metaphysical nature and people have a problem with it or you're looking at a different um, spiritual faith or something like that and someone has an issue. There's, there's this thing when you have the son in the fourth house, uh, the message is uh, blessed with a noble father, but while growing up feeling outshined or intimidated by your father's success and natural leadership ability. That could literally be like you could have um, come from such a big family, right? And whether your parent was noble or not, or religious or not, that parent comes with some form of intimidation or they feel like they're the best one, or that can be translated as you. You are the noble one in your family, and there are people in your family who feel intimidated by you, your success, your leadership ability, your spiritual capabilities, but that energy is there. Whether you felt intimidated by a parent or you have siblings or your own parents intimidated by you for your own, it's natural. Some of you are natural, it's very natural. Um, spiritual ability, gift, um, skill, you know, it could be uh, literally like a, a art skill, anything like that, where they've, I don't have that, you know? I can't do that. I, like nobody else in our family does that. Like, why, how did they get that? How did, what's up with you? Like, why does it seem like the luck is on you, right? And because you've felt that from people, you know, um, it sort of puts you on guard or make you feel like, I don't feel like fighting a spiritual fight. I'm going to pretend like, you know, I'm not a part of that. Hold on, give me a sec. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, with this energy, guys, it's only two things you can do with this Five of Cups energy. You can walk away from it, let it go, whether this is somebody coming back to you or the emotions that you're feeling or replaying in your head, or you could actually analyze them and see what it's for to unblock yourself. Right. Like instead of um, the, you and y'all, I'm not trying to um, not. Uh, what is it? Not validate your feelings. I can't think of the word right now, but uh, or invalidate your feelings. But it seems to be a reason the, the what you went through feels so personal that it almost feels like there's no other reason other than it being personal that it happened. And that isn't the entire case. OK, if you get what I'm saying, it was very personal because of the people it happened with. But this allowed for your growth. This abandonment or seclusion or a breakup, you know, it was for your growth. And maybe you don't see how that's going to help you grow, but it is. And it ushers in uh, Jupiter energy is going to make you grow, but it ushers in more luck and prosperity for you at the same time. OK. Some of y'all feel or something happened. I don't know if it's a passing of a loved one or just like, you know, people fucked with my money or something like that. That's got you so um, feeling truly like abandoned and on guard. Like I'm literally fighting for myself. Nobody else fights for me. But see, in the reverse like that, this angel ancestor being is only making you feel like their presence like your their presence is absent, but it's not. It's just the feeling like the presence is absent. Whatever's going down in your life, you are still being watched over. You may feel like, damn, why you let that happen? Like nobody's got my back, da, 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 da. But there's something there. All of this that's going on right here is for, for you. It's for your own growth, for your own strength. So you can do or see, you know? It's not that... Because some of y'all are around people who y'all like y'all thought were perfect or I came from the perfect family. I had the perfect marriage. This is the perfect friendship. 
So, <clears throat> excuse me, in order for you to see that it wasn't perfect, you have to see what people are capable of. The effects of what they're capable of makes you feel like I don't have any protection, but you do. This would have been worse had you had this blessing come in and you were still with these people. The loss could have been greater, you know, and, and inviting them back into your life could cause a great loss. So, yeah, it, it feels so personal, but it's like you thought that your family was perfect or, like I said, marriage, friends, and they weren't. They weren't. And I'm still here, your angel, guide, ancestor. I'm still watching your back. You need to see the truth. You need to be strong. You need to know what you can do without these people. Um, you need to do things without others' opinions. Can you stand up for yourself when people come against you? When people are talking about you behind your back, not believing in you, trying to discourage you? Can you? Do you believe in who you really are? Because you know who you are, right? And you're saying, well, if I am this, then where is it? Where's more? I need more. More is coming. More is coming. Don't give up. Don't get so disheartened about whatever this is. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. Some of you all are, I could feel like don't want to fight the spiritual fight because you feel like this a devotion. Either there's someone truly devoted to their uh, religion or religion has tainted their spiritual experience. I'm feeling like somebody just doesn't want to have like a religious experience that they grew up with. And it's hard to have a different kind without shaking something they feel from the past, right? But you got to walk your walk, feel certain things in order to have your own experience. You, you know, I don't know. I just feel that like somebody's judging or comparing one thing, one experience in the past to what they're going through now or using an old method that doesn't work. And maybe that's another thing. Like maybe you have some sort of spiritual method that's not working for you or something. Take it as it resonates. Hold on. Yeah, but you can't deny what's happening. You can't deny that I'm I'm in a battle. I'm in a battle. And certain people that I thought were for me are truly against me. Um, that you will have, things will be replaced, right? Better times are truly coming. You have so much fortune in... Um, your work and professional career. Some of you all could be ignoring that because of these pent up feelings. And, um, you know, I keep telling you, apply for new jobs, take a risk, do something different. Um, if you don't need to leave your current position, start that project, write that book, start your new channel, you know, or, or post again. Maybe some of you all stop posting something and you need to start doing it again and there's something blocking you. But you truly are special. With this energy, especially with temperance uh, fire, very, very special. This is why people come against you. This is why you feel on guard. And I know you're tired of feeling like that. I know, but don't, don't, um, it's not always going to be like that. You know, you may, you may always see people who got a problem with you, but them having an effect on you, it won't always be like that. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. Just these, there's a lot of energies of uh, security, possessiveness, and family. You could be feeling that energy from your family, whether you need to feel a sense of security um, away from them or they need your 10 of pentacles to feel secure, you know, for themselves materially, right? Um, give me a second. Now, this is either you relocating or one of your family members having to relocate. Now, I don't know if someone has an issue with you growing in your education, whether it's a spiritual sense or like you're learning something else. I don't know if there's a problem with it or if you're ignoring it and not doing it. But for some, education gives increase. It also increases your uh, money making possibilities mm -hmm. because there's there's this ambition and elevation very strong with the sun and Oshimari, you feel it. You feel like I'm going somewhere. I'm growing. I am ambitious. It's just, like I say, some of you are tired of the pushback, the resistance. Mm-hmm. 
Um, those of you who are relocating uh, where you're moving and it's not a family member, there's an energy of doing some DIY. So try not to spend too much money, all right? Wheel of Fortune energy, especially on things that have to do with the body or with the home. You know, if you can find a deal, you know, that's, you know, what am I trying to say? Like, I would never tell you to, that's worth it, all right? Look for a deal. But whoever can do whatever they can um, properly, look for that person. But if there's a deal, try to find a deal. You know, I'm not saying go the cheap route, you know? And for others of you who can do things on your own, you should do something on your own instead of like constantly spending or buying, you know? Like uh, just for instance, instead of always eating out, cook, you know? Um, if you know how to fix something in the home, you fix it rather than, you know, calling somebody up. So give me a second. Mm hmm Yeah, there's the only way you're going to be able to get the increase is if you feel confident and show your confidence. You got to show up, show up. You have to believe in what's for you. You have to believe the one reason why you should believe in yourself is the fact that you have resistance. Whatever people are coming up against, constantly trying to stop you or come into your life to pinch off of or whatever, it truly is your thing. It's a good thing. And um, there's increase for you there, but you got to be confident enough to do it, even against resistance, right? It's important that you maintain or continue through resistance because that's where your reward is. Easy Street is not where the reward is. It's where the resistance is. They wouldn't try to stop you if it wasn't worth, worth it, you know, okay? Or, yeah, deter you in some way mm -hmm. yeah a lot of you some of you have like lost faith because you've lost faith in like your relatives and things like that but don't don't lose faith in you it's okay to feel like yeah i can't depend on them but you can't say just because i can't depend on them i can't depend on me you can depend on you right you got to dig a little deeper put your faith in something greater and I think that's the problem because it's like, well, if that great thing is allowing these things to happen to me, then maybe that thing doesn't exist. But I don't I, the logic for that is there, but that's just not how it's really playing out is what I want to tell you. You feel alone, you know, looking for danger, but there's somebody right behind you. You feel like I'm blind, but the Holy Spirit is right by you, you know. There's somebody here. There's there's guidance here, you know? All right? The only thing that could truly block you up are your own emotions. So try to release that. All right, guys? That's what I have for you. If the reading resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. If you want to book a personal reading, the link to book is in the description box below. All right, guys. See you.